Do I know you? Oh, not really. Uh, my name is Jeffert. Chiva and I, we are acquaintances. <sighs> you see, this world can be a very funny place. The last time I saw him was at the airport. He was on his way to Abuja. Then I was on my way to Kaduna. We discussed business. And we talked at length. Even I forwarded some money as advance payment for the business we discussed. Um, I'm very sorry things had to happen this way. Please accept my sympathy. My husband is very much alive. You, you mean Chief is alive? Yes, he is. He was never involved in any plane crash. My husband is Ezoka G.U. And the man that was involved in the ill-fated aircraft was Ezoke Giyu. Actually, people thought it was my husband because of the closeness in their names. A case of mistaken identity, you will say. The main chief is alive. How oh, wonderful. Please, I'm very sorry for this embarrassment. I never knew there was some mix-up. My dear, it's okay. It's, it's not your fault. Actually, so many other people made the same mistake. So, where is Chief Nan? C can I see him before I go? I'm sorry, he's not home yet. He'll be coming back home a bit late tonight. Really? In that case, uh, I have to run along. It's okay. Once again, I'm very sorry for the embarrassment. <laughs> sorry, madam. Yes, please. Please, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Please, can you help me with some money? Say 500 naira. I lost my wallet to pickpockets on my way to this place. Please, I'm very sorry to bother you. It's okay. Just give me a Once again, I'm sorry to bother you. It's, it's not a surprise that Jeffrey came to ask you for money. Um, it can be quite funny at times. Yeah. Chief, how did you get to know such a person? By chance, honestly. Um, I knew Jeffrey a couple of years back when he was still in the army. He was a very brilliant boy until he was sent on a peacekeeping mission to... Uh, one of these crisis torn parts of Africa. I am not sure now what about the Congo, Rwanda, Sudan. I'm not so sure now, but when he came back, he became a totally changed person. He started acting strange, in fact, an eccentric, if you like. So, 
How come you never mentioned him to me all this way? Oh, come on. It's, it's not information you can use. I mean, you, you, you don't require to know anything about Jeffers. Chief, I am your wife and I deserve to know. You're suddenly making Jeffers look that important. It's, it's, you don't require to know anything about Jeffers. He's not a woman. I mean, I, no, come on. Why don't you just tell me, love, that you're getting tired of sitting out here with me so I can permit you to retire? Mm -mm. I'm sorry for all the questions, my darling. I am not tired of sitting out here with you. Uh-uh. Come on, I'm sorry for all the questions, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Mm, mm. I wish I had some bush meat to go along with this, but it's okay. Yeah, um, there's, there's some. Shall I go get it for you? We'll do it tomorrow. You don't want the bush meat again? I'm just trying to be a good wife now. You want bush meat, there is. We have always been I know. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Mama Beth, please take it easy. Hmm? The Bible said in all things we should give him thanks. Mm -hmm. I know God will be your husband. He is the husband of all we do. Just take it easy. Shall be yeah. You see? Okay? Crying will not solve the problem and it will not bring your husband out of the grave. Please. Okay. Take it easy. Alice. My husband has been married. When he's open, he's only four. I don't know whether he's alive. I don't know whether he's dead. Mama Obed. I don't know. I don't it's know. Okay. Obed is alive. See me. And he will come back someday. It's okay. Okay, nice. Come in here this 
Interesting thing, but I will tell you something. When lie to lie, such a mistake of identity as what some untold addition to some people. Mm. Well, it can be a very bad experience, but uh, for me, maybe not totally bad. At least it has enabled me you know those who really love me and those who uh, merely pay lip service to me. All those who jubilated over my purported death, I have recorded their names in the black book. In due course, I will deal with them. It's a question of time. Thank you. <clears throat> what is it, Chief? Who is it? This is our commander, Robert's father. Oh. Oh, I thought you said he is dead. He, he died two weeks ago and we buried him. He is coming back. My father, you are dead. Leave me alone. What are you looking for here? He is coming back. He is coming. I said you are dead, but... Go back to where you belong. Oh, the leader came. something. Hmm? We have to do something and kill him before it becomes more harmful. You don't worry. I will take you there. Good. Yeah, short. Good. <laughs> In this town. Today, I will have severe every all the relationship we have with Diego. I tell you, I to I I Incredible, how can I be so terrible? 
had the news of your sudden disappearance. <laughs> we thought you had been kidnapped. Oh, some evil had befallen you. Even when Chief Ojego said that uh, uh, you called him and told him that uh, you had gone away with his money. I did not believe you were alive oh, until I got your first letter. What? Wait. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Why? Why? Mama. Mama, I'm, I'm, I'm deeply sorry that I disappointed you and Papa. <sighs> Mama.
there comes a point in a man's life when he has to take his destiny in his own hands. Mama, do you know how much that man used my father? Do you know how much evil Chifujego used my father to carry out in this village? He even extended it to me by using me to frustrate Chike out of his house. That was when I realized that someday, Mama, that I'll be a victim. So, Mama, what I did at that time was the best for me. Because if I had not done it, probably now, Chifo Jego would have made me useless. God forbid. Oh. Not you. Not you at all. <laughs> so, Mama, where is Chiki now? They said he has gone back to Lagos. I must find him wherever he is. I need to find him. As for that Chief Ojego, that wicked, heartless man. He that lives by the sword will definitely die by the sword. My son, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't try to avenge anything. Leave vengeance for God. The most important thing now is to try and pay him back his money. The money you took from him, try and pay him back. That's all. So that he won't have anything against you. Obed, are you hearing me? I heard you, Mama. I heard you. Yes. Try and give him back that money. That's all. Uh, yes, Mama. By the way, I hope you got all the letters and the cash that I sent to you. Mm. My son, I got everything, but they're not enough to bring back your father. Would you go use your father and destroy him? You wicked soul, what are you doing in my father's house? Emeka, calm down. Hold on. Get out. Emeka, just I relax. Said, get out. Or are you deaf? Emeka, why are you talking like this? Okay, after all you did to my brother Chike, you still have the nerves to come into my father's compound, right? Emeka, right. just hold on. I've not I've not come to quarrel with okay, you. Okay, hold on. I'll be Emeka, just hold on. Let, let me. His father set me up and I had to suffer innocently in the police cell for months. That was my father. That was your father, right? Because he please. Oh my god. Emeka, I am sorry, okay? Can you just hear me out? Relax. Relax and hear me out. Because Okay, thank your star. Just thank your stars that my mother is at home. Hey, 
Hmm. Emeka, I I don't blame you for your actions. I, I understand how you feel. You don't understand anything, Obed. You understand nothing. Emeka, listen. Life is not the way you're looking at it. There are some things that we do in life that are way beyond our control. Believe me, mentally and physically. I, I know what I must have made your family pass. Pass. Emeka. Emeka. Anyway, Obed, it's all right, eh? Obed. Mama. When did you come back from Obudoibo? I mean, the white man's land. Uh, Mama, I came back from Holland a week ago. Mm. But I got into this village yesterday. Mm. Mama. You are welcome. Thank you, Mama. Uh, Mama, I've I've come to apologize and to plead for forgiveness for whatever I've made this family pass through. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very sorry, Mama. You wouldn't understand. But let's not start recounting all that happened in the past. Please, Mama, find a place in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what do you expect me to say? Hmm? I have forgotten all about it a long, long time ago. You see, my son, since the death of my husband, after Chiki's birth, I do not take anything in this world seriously anymore. I do not. Hmm? Thank you very much, Mama. You're welcome. At least now I'm relieved. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Where is your mother? She's Sorry. fine. She sends her regards. Mama, I, I learned Chike has come back to Lagos. Can I have his address? Ah, why not? I'll get it for you. Thank you very much, Mama. You're welcome. Thank you. So, what is Emeka doing now? Hey, Chineke. God, I thank you. I thank you so much. A maker is now in the university studying law. Are you serious? Yes. That's very good. Yes. He's on break. Oh, they're on break. That's why he's at home. Oh, my God. That's, that's <laughs> wonderful. Yes, so oh, my son. thank God. We thank God. Yes, my son. I thank God. Uh, Mama, uh, let me get something from the car. I'll ah. be back. <laughs> to Emeka. Let him use it to help himself in school. Oh, thank you, my son. You're welcome. Thank Mama. you. Eh? And this is for you too. 20,000 naira. Hey, yeah. Thank you, my son. You're welcome. God You're bless welcome. you. Hmm? Uh, As you bless me, God will always bless you. Amen. Hey, Bia. Who are you going to go? Ah, Mama, it's my car. Eh? Yes. Thank God, Mama. <laughs> Mama, can I get the address? Yes. Chairman, sir, I thank you for the corner nod. You're welcome. I came in yesterday and I was notified of this inaugural meeting of your committee, uh, the Committee for the Provision of Pipebone Water for our community. And I thought it would be best if I came in here to uh, interact with you people so I get to know how you intend to go about this assignment. In the past every effort along this line had failed mainly because most of those who were appointed to serve on the committee were not attending meetings uh, which was very irresponsible of them. 
From observation, everybody who has been appointed to serve on this committee is here. And this is an indication of total commitment to this project. For a start, therefore, it guarantees success for the project. And I thank all of you for being here. At least in our lifetime, let us drink pipe-borne water. Um, I am not always available. So I'd like to make an initial contribution of 250,000 Naira. And please, whenever you decide on a date for the launching of the project, don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you very much. My brothers, I greet you. Welcome. My people, I greet you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My brothers, I'm so glad to be here. You are welcome. This you are welcome. welcome. Thank you very much. My brothers, my elders, thank you. Um, I am sorry for coming late. I heard about this meeting. And I said, let me quickly rush down and be with you briefly. Well, um, I wouldn't want to waste much of your time, but I must congratulate this committee for this wonderful innovation because it is going to be a great thing of joy and pride that Omoawa Development Union, Lagos Branch, brought pipe bone water to our community. Wow. I'm so glad about it. And in respect of that, I am I'm going to drop this check of 500,000. This is to enable you run around for this project. And when the time comes for the launching proper, please don't fail to contact me. Because I will be willing and ready to contribute financially towards this project. Thank you very much, my people. Thank you so much. Mr. Chairman, please accept this for me. Thank you so much. I will be my leave. I am so sorry. I have so much to In my capacity as the chairman of the project committee, I thank you on behalf of the committee. Thank you very much. Chief, thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Chief, thank now you. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Oh, this is Honestly, I wish you were there to witness what happened. Obed shook hands with everybody present except me. When he got to me, he skipped me and shook hands with the person who was sitting next to me. Can you imagine the insult? Well, Chief, this matter is a bit complicated. It needs serious consultation to know how best to approach it. Well, I tell you the truth, I'm surprised. After making all the facts available to you, you're still saying the matter is a bit complicated. Chairman, sir, let us call a spade a spade. It will do us a lot of good. Obed is my boy. You know that. He has not completed his apprenticeship yet, so I have not settled him. I presume he went on a business trip abroad with the money he stole from me, $10,000. Now that he is back, I want him to come and account to me. At the end of that, I will settle him. He will now be free to pursue any business of his choice. Chairman, that is where I stand. Fine, Chief. You have made your point clear. Like I said before, it is not what I alone will decide here. It needs serious consultation. And I promise you, Chief, that will be done in earnest. Uh, people say that respect is reciprocal. 
I have given you the respect you deserve as chairman of my town union. I'm not sure you have given me mine, but be that as it may, let me state the fact again. It's my money that was stolen. Ten thousand dollars. I think I know what to do to recover that money. I know what to do to recover that money. All right, I believe it. That is very, very thoughtful of you to have come. I promise you, I'll certainly take care of the matter. I'll certainly take care of it. It's all right. Bye -bye. Okay? Come and take care of all these things. Welcome, Chief. Mm -hmm. Chief, welcome. Very good. Very good. So, what can I do for you, Chief? Mm -hmm. What you will have done for us is to offer us cola not. I see. Did I invite you to my house? I don't remember. You should be grateful. I'm even disposed to talk with you. As you can see, I'm just coming home from a very long journey. And I require some rest. 
So whatever it is you have to say, please, just say it fast. Um, Chief. Yes. Please, if we have offended you in any way, please forgive us. That's reasonable. Good. Um, we waited for you in the village for over one year. You did not come. Three times you sent word, but we did not see you. That is why we have come today to see you and to find out why you sent back our nephew Chike to us in the village unceremoniously after he had served you for five good years. Yes, I promised to come to the village after I sent Chike home for some discussion so we can talk things over. Unfortunately, I've not been able to make it because I'm operating a very, very tight schedule. Having said that, as you can see, this is my house. It's, uh, it's not a courtroom, so I will not tolerate questions as to why I sent Chike home. No. Chief. My opinion is, you tell us the offense he committed, so that we can know how to caution him. Well, if I were you, I'd be more interested, not in the offense he committed, but on how he should be settled. Chief, you know that this boy was due for settlement before you sent him away on suspension. I think that what we should be talking about now is how you will set him free so that he can start his own business. Ubiako, I have a style which I know that you do not know, so I'll tell you what that style is all about. Whenever any of my boys, for any reason, is sent on suspension, on recall, he'll serve an additional four years before he qualifies to be settled. Jesus. Now that you're all here, let's assume that uh, Chike has been recalled from his suspension. Oh, Diego. Yes? This boy has served you for five years. You still want him to serve you for additional four years. Do you want to enslave him? I've told you my style. It's my style. And the ball is in this court. If he feels like staying in the village and rotting away, that's entirely his own business. I think we have come to the end of this discussion. As I said, I am uh, 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 tired. Hey! At that moment, I felt like rushing after him and strangling him to death. <sighs> Chicken, that man is a beast. So, how did you manage to start up something? Um, well, my my uncles managed to raise me 60,000 naira and my brother in Mecca was able to raise me 40,000 naira, making it 100,000 naira. So with that, I've been patching up life together for almost one year now. Chief Ojiegoni, what a man. said, I'm sorry for the pains that I caused you. That man 
was she using me. But when my eyes opened, I knew better. Chike, I want you to know that your days of sorrows are over. Okay? Just rejoice. Hmm? The story has changed. A moment, please. I'll be back. Mm. Mm. Please, drink. Okay? I'll be back. This is a check of two million naira huh? for your business, for a start, for you. Chike, I want you to know that from this moment, from this moment, to triumph over evil men like Chief Ojego becomes our common goal. Okay? Just cheer up. Cheer up, man. I'm grateful. Oh, don't mention me. We're brothers. Mr. President General, sir, I thank you for your concern on this issue. Permit me, however, to humbly request that you withdraw the expression fighting over money. I think it's an insult on my person. How can I be fighting over money? with a boy who is like my own son to me. Obed lived with me. Obed took my money. Let him return it. That's okay. That is it. Um, President General, sir. With all due respect, Chief Ojego killed my father. And for God's sake, no one has said a word in respect of that. What? I'm open. That is an allegation. Can you justify it? 
I mean, can you prove it? Can I prove it? Alias. Oh, you're in this camp. Camp? What do you mean by camp? Eh? Oh, I, after committing such an abomination, I should carry you shoulder high and celebrate you. Is that what you mean by camp? Let me tell you. Return Chief Ojego's money. And all these chemistries we go for. That's it. And who brings my father back to life? What happens to my father? Answer me. If you like, exhume him. I should exhume him? Yes! Can you get him? Uh, do, do you know what he said? Gentlemen, I think that I said point in what the young man is saying. And I feel it is important for us to look into the circumstances that led to his father's death. It's all right, okay, okay. Sit down. Um, Chief. <clears throat> um, President General, sir, I thank you again that I honored this invitation with an indication of the respect I have for this gathering. I will, however, not sit down here and continue to take in insults. When somebody loses his property, he goes out to look for it. Obed lived with me. Obed took my money. I think I know best how to recover that money. Let him go. Let him go. I am ready for him. What do you mean by let him go, man? I do not Barrister, sincerely, my father's soul is seeking for vengeance. I am ready to sue that man. I'm ready. That feeling is only natural, Obed. It's a psychological thing. Uh, but I don't think litigation would lead us anywhere in this matter. Barrister, I, 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 I know you can do something. Something should be done about this. Do you understand? It is high time that man paid for all his atrocities. I am ready to face him in the lockout. I have enough to nail him. And I'm serious about it. Okay, if that's the way you want it, let's meet in my office tomorrow morning. Okay, all right, you have a nice day. You have a nice day. Hey, oh, so many bloody tears I cry. Sorrows of life, the ways of mankind. Atrocities and maim in a land. Lies and deceits of them broken heart in their heads. Oh. Treacherous hearts oh, in their eyes, oh, blood in their hands, oh, blood in their doors, oh, souls of mischief. Incredible, how can a man be so terrible? Oh, bloody man, oh, oh and you cause me pain. Incurable, oh, his disease is horrible, but time will soon come.
Yes? Gentlemen, how may I help you? I'm Jimmy Benson of the NDLEA, and these are my colleagues. We have a warrant to search this house. Excuse me? You have a warrant to search my house? Exactly. <laughs> what for? Is there any particular thing you're looking for? Never mind. When we see what we're looking for, we shall let you know. This is, this is unbelievable. You really mean you want to search my house? Shall we? I will cooperate with you, but I believe I'm the wrong person you're looking for. I shall move. Understand the meaning of this invasion this morning. Oh, are you, are you guys acting on a tip off or something? Tell me. Don't worry. Soon you will know. Soon? Yes. Shall we go upstairs? My bedroom. Exactly. Shall we? Okay, no problem. Let's go to my bedroom. You will definitely find nothing because I don't know what you're looking for. I'm a clean citizen of this country. Okay. You understand? I feel like searching these cars. Go ahead. Search the cars. Musa, open the gates. Sorry. Can we search the cars? Can you search my car? Yes. Why? Let them search the cars. You're all looking for my trouble. You had a warrant to search my house, and you search my house. So we can't search the car, all right? Open the gates. Now. You guys will definitely pay for all this embarrassment. Don't worry. Okay. No problem. Let me get the car keys. Dude, I go with you. Follow him. Search! You want to search the car? I wonder what you're looking for. Huh? You're searching my car. Search properly! Oh yes. No, after searching the car, maybe I'll take you to my mama's house so that you can search. You can even search the flowers. Hmm? Huh? Okay. You want to search? That's how you go around embarrassing innocent citizens! This one. Sure, why not? I'll open it. You'll search, but you won't find anything. Because there's nothing. No, 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 come out. No, let me open it very well for you. Yes, sir. So that you will have the room to search. Okay? Yeah. I guess you know what a comfortable is. Search. That is what you all know how to do. Embarrass people. Huh? Please don't step on my car like that. It's expensive. What 
is that? So I suspect this to be cocaine. I beg your pardon. Huh? So what is it then? I don't know. I don't know how you got into my car. Oh, you wouldn't know now. It's you! Maybe you're the one! You, you put this in my car! I'm afraid you will accompany us to the office. How? There we should taste this and ascertain exactly what it is. Officer, I smell a foul play. I don't do drugs. Right. I don't traffic drugs. I do. I mean, this is, this is definitely a frame up. Someone is after me. Can't you see? And we found this in your car, right there. And you're telling me you don't do drugs. I don't know. I... Oh my goodness. Did you say you found this in my car? Gentlemen, gentlemen, don't worry. Where did you find it now? Are you sure? I said, shall we? Don't let us rough handle you. Jesus Christ. This is a joke. This is an expensive joke. Let us go. Let us go. Don't let me rough handle you. Okay, no problem. I'll go with you. Yes, sir. No problem. <laughs> Devil, you're a liar. Devil. Anyone looks for me, just tell the person that. Wait, let me just go. Let me my security man. get everything he has and then he'll be put away in jail for a very long time uh, I think that uh, should teach him some lesson that would teach him never to tell with superiors again beautiful um, here is your 50,000 that's what is left of your money hmm? okay. now listen to me Jeffet use this money judiciously have you heard me it's okay chief all right I'll see you again hmm? Cocaine in one of my cars. That's incredible. It is incredible, Barrister. Because I don't do drugs. All through my stay in Europe, I never touched drugs. So I cannot figure out how cocaine found its way into my car. It is obvious I've been set up. It's okay. Take it easy. I, I'll take it up from here. Thanks, Star. You have to do all you can to get me out of this mess. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll do something. Calm down. Oh, 
told you about this. <laughs> eh? I was already handling the situation. You, you didn't have to come. We take come to Lagos on bed. You have a little of my mommy's It's okay, it's okay, Mama. Stop crying. You have a little I have been zero. Mama, it's okay. I will not die. Eh? Nothing will happen to me. I will not succeed, okay? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Mama, eh? Mama, my lawyer is walking towards my bed. Yeah. Hmm? So very soon, all this will be over. Huh? Please, I need you to be alive. Just go to my house, okay? Go and stay and rest and wait for me. I will soon be back. Okay? Please, don't, don't cry again, okay? I need you to be alive, Mama. Mm -hmm. eh? Don't worry, don't bother yourself about this. Okay? Stop crying. Mama, stop crying now. <laughs> I'm so I'm crying. It's okay, it's okay. Hello, hello, Chief. Chief, this is Jaffet. 
Oh, different. I see. Chief, I'm down. Very down. Please. Can you lend me some money, please? What happened to the 100,000 naira I gave you two days ago? Oh, Chief, a man will always need money. Chief, could you please lend me 50,000 naira in advance? In advance of what? Chief, for subsequent jobs. Oh, are we done? W won't you come up with more deals? Jeffrey, I'm quite sure you spent all that money on cocaine. Chief, I don't think how I spend my money should be any of your business. I, I just need some money, Chief. Yeah, Jeffrey, you're right. How you spend your money actually is none of my business. Hello, Chief. Don't hang the phone on me. Chief! Hello, Chief. Don't hang up on me. Okay. Someone is here to see you. Are you expecting anybody? No. Okay, get him in. Someone is here to see me. I just hope it's not my mother because I know she's coming here to cry. Well, I hope so too. <sighs> uh. Yes, uh, how may we be of help? I want to speak to Obed in private. What about? Something I know you need desperately. Say whatever you want to say, I'm listening. I have the key to your freedom. Just give me 20,000 naira. That's incredible. Who are you? Don't ask me questions. Just give me 20,000 naira and I will tell you who kept you here. If you're not giving me, let me go. Come down. Tell me who you are. I mean, let's start from there. Okay? J just give me 20,000 naira. I will give you more than 20,000. Okay? Tell me who you are. Tell me all I need to know. Come on. Officer. Yeah? This gentleman has something interesting to say. Really? Yes. Then go on. Tell him all you want to tell me. Then speak. Yes, he is the man. That's 
nasty man. Hey, what's, what's, what's all this about? Is this the man? That's the man. Good day, Chief. Hello, what man? What is it? Well, Chief, I'm Jimmy Benson from NDLEA, and these are my colleagues. This man here made a confessional statement, so we're here for confirmation. Uh, go on, mister. <coughs> Repeat what you told us. Chief, you paid me to set Obed up with cocaine. Both of us drafted the anonymous letter that was sent to the NDLA office about Obed's purported involvement in drugs. Chief, it was all your plan. You can't deny it. Where did you get this character from? <laughs> I mean, this is all rubbish. Where, where did you drag him out from? Chief, pretending you don't know me will get me real mad. Officers, arrest this man. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know where this country is coming to. You assist a rascal in need, and uh, <laughs> you become a criminal for that. I was coming home from work, I think three years ago, and um, I met this character on the highway. It was lonely. He flagged me down, I stopped. He claimed he was stranded, and was going my way, so... I decided to offer him a lift. Along the way, he told me that he had not eaten for two, three days. He had no money, he required some money. I looked at him. He appeared decent to me, so um, I gave him some money. Indicated my house as I drove past to drop him, and I said, whenever you feel like or you have some need, look me up. I said, thank you very much, sir. So he began to visit me regularly. But when I noticed that his visits had become disturbingly regular, I decided to take more than a passing interest in his affairs. I discovered that he's on drugs, a junkie. So I decided to cut off my assistance, which is like a kind of lifeline to him. If I don't give him the money, he won't take the drugs. He threatened he was going to deal with me, and <laughs> I thought it was all a joke. Now I see that he is prepared to deal with me. Oh, officer, this man is a liar. Chief, you're a liar. You must go down with me. Arrest him. Jimmy, that's your name. Yes. I'll be honest with you. I look at this young man and I sympathize with him because it could have been my own son. But I see that he is uh, not quite disposed to be of assistance to himself. So I suggest you drag him into jail. Let him rot there. He's, he's not worth it as a human being. Wait, wait. Um, better still. Take him to a sanatorium or a psychiatric hospital. Let him receive some attention over a period. Perhaps by the grace of God, he just might come round. But from what I see, there's very little hope. You are the lunatic. You are the lunatic. You are going down with me. Wherever I go, that is where you're going. Officers, if you don't arrest this man, I'm not going anywhere with you. Arrest this man. You are going down with me. Well, Chief, we need you to come to our office and throw more light on this. Of course I'll come to your office, but for God's sake, take this thing out of here, please. Please, take him. Chief, you are going down with me. Wherever I go is where you go. Have you seen the wickedness of man? One man should leave, everyone else is to die. Oh, beware the greediness of man. Grab all you can and let nothing pass by. In thy heads, evil in your mind, treacherous world, treacherous.
grows hard in your eyes, Lord, in your hands, close God of the widow, you are wonderful. Yes. God, I thank you. It's okay. God will continue to fight for us. Amen. Okay? Amen. I must sue the NDLEA for damages. Yes. And that junkie called Jaffet hmm. must be punished. Yes. I am suing all of them at once, so you prepare the purpose. Um, take it easy, Obed. We have to look at this matter critically before taking any step. It is now clear that Chief Ojego is not ready to change. I am sure he's going to buy his way out of this case. But watch out. His end is just around the corner. Oh, no. Just watch out. His end is standing right in front of him. Yes. Yes. This is the time to tell the whole world how Chief B.U. Okoye died. What? You mean he was also involved in, in Chief Okoye's death? There is a lot more you're yet to know. Mm. Mm. Baby, please. What? Let's go inside. Mm? Okay. We have a lot to talk about. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go yes, inside, gentlemen. Come hey. out of that yes. place, you won't thank be God. Thank God. God, I thank you. Mm. That matter has taken a turn for the worse. That boy is becoming a threat to my life. Chief Ojego, if you heed my advice, let that boy go. What? But look, what are you talking about? What that boy did is unheard of and unimaginable. Yet, he remains defiant and obstinate. He thinks he has arrived because he told Kokemon about. Who is he, Wambash? No. He seems to forget that people like us lay the foundation for our own money when money had value. Look, when I was in London School of Economics, where was his father? Even when I started lecturing post-graduation, his mother was not born. Today he takes $10,000 of my money and expects to get away with it Balogu, no, I will not allow him. I lent to give the other boy, Chike, two million naira, chief, and that is still your money. You see? My money. I will recover that money from Chike no matter where he goes. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know who I am. Let me finish with Obert first. I will deal with him. Jago, you are money. Look, you must not win all the time. Besides, you 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 have nothing to lose if you let him go. You will rather gain more respect for yourself. Remember, this same case has claimed the life of his father. And this spot bears me witness. Let that boy go. Balogu, sit down, John. I am sitting. Uh, Balogu, I would have liked to take your advice, but... You see, it will send the wrong signal to other boys. They will think it has become the norm. Steal money from your boss and get away. He will do nothing. 
Because of that, I intend to recover this money, no matter what it takes. I still maintain my stance. Let him go. Actually, on my way to a business meeting when you called. So I said, let me go to you first. That was so thoughtful of you, Obed. Thank you. Obed, I actually invited you here because I don't like what's been going on between you and Chief. I know a lot has happened. Bad enough to upset both of you. You two have every reason to be angry with each other. That is why I intend to call a peace meeting. And I'll be glad if you can honor my invitation. I'm afraid, madam, I won't be a party to that. It's too late. Chief has pushed me too far. He sent my father to the great beyond. And yet, he won't let me be. So I think it's time for him to face the music as well. Because I am ready to fight him any way he wants it. I have a lot to nail him with. Madam, I guess you don't know your husband. But after nailing him, you will know him better. It's too late. Obeyed. You've grown. You've really, really grown up. Let me ask you a question. What do you stand to gain by nailing Chief? Tell me. A lot. A whole lot. Seeing Chief Ojego Nipu handcuffed and taken away in a black maria will make my father's soul rest in peace. Because his soul has been seeking for vengeance. Obed, leave vengeance to God. Vengeance is associated with chains of reactions that can span from generation to generation. And I bet you know what that means. Madam, I, I still respect you a whole lot. But I'm afraid, in this case, I'm going to disappoint you. In fact, never mind. I'll see you later, madam. I guess we can talk much later. Obed, think seriously about what I just said, okay? I'll see you. Have a nice day. Thank you.
one more word and you're gone without your last prayer. Um, now, no, no, come on! Sorry, please, please. Uh, don't shoot, don't shoot, please, don't shoot. Please. How many of you are in this house? The, the two of us, okay? And, and the gate man, all right? See, I, I have, I have 500,000 in my room. 500,000 naira, just take it, okay? Take it, take whatever you like. Don't, don't want anyone to shut up and say your last prayer. My brother, please, I beg you, in the name of God, don't shoot. Bravo, hold it. Just hold it, Bravo. Oh boy, now it's now. Oh boy, get up. I said, get up. Now look at me. I said, look at me. Do you in any way recognize this face? No, 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 I don't. I don't know any of you. Please take the money and go. Just take the money. I'm not begging you. Take a closer look at this face. Are you not Obed? Obed, so? Simon, I don't want your thoughts. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Simon. Ah, Simon. Simon. That boy is always looking for my drone. Let him come again. Yes, he was my boss. Good guys wear mask. Chief Ojegoneku signed your death warrant. But may your days be long. I've not forgotten those days in primary school. Those protective attitudes of yours. That's if guarded me from the punches of the bullies. Bravo. Put that gun. Let's go. Pali, what's the meaning of all this? We did the whole in that house. Where did it happen? Huh? Teddy, call it. This job. Don't know. What did they tell me now, Oscar? Uh, let's go, guys. I will let's go. Oscar, what did they tell me? I said, let us live here. This hour or else. Let's go. Let's go. Move, move, come on. Let's go. Let's go now. Move, come on. Come on. Come on. 
came to say hello chief yes you just came to say hello without accomplishing the mission on which I sent you leave my house Oscar you are not welcome here you heard me didn't you I said leave my house Oscar well 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 chief um I will leave I quite understand how you feel but the mission has to be accomplished here and now I put that phone down chief I said put that phone down chief now say your last prayer chief yes can you hear me Number 20, Basi Crescent. 220, two yes. Basi Crescent. Okay. Okay. Please be fast. Okay. Listen to, the, the, listen to me, Oscar. Put that gun away. Look, it's too early in the day for such expensive jokes. Put that gun away, Oscar. What is all this? I, I said, put, put, put that gun away, Oscar. So, Chief, you hired me to assassinate my friend. When you gave me that picture, the face looked familiar. But because I was in a hurry to carry out the mission, I couldn't place it until I saw him. Oh, Bird is my very good friend from way back in school. But you lost contact. You killed his father. Now you want to kill him. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, Oscar, listen, you are, you are getting it all wrong. O Obed stole my money. Obed took $10,000, my money. And even threatened he's going to kill me. Can't you understand? I did not say I that. Him. I said he took my $10,000. Chief, 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 Chief. Shut up, woman. Shh. Sorry, Lord. I didn't do it. My gun did it. <laughs> Please do something. Please help me. Everything is on my 
Incredible, 